Use Pascal's triangle to determine the number of paths from point A to point B if east and south are the only possible directions. We can use Pascal's triangle to find the number of pathways from point A to point B. Begin by writing ones along the edges. Now add adjacent numbers. Add adjacent numbers again. Add adjacent numbers again. Add adjacent numbers again. And finally, there are 20 unique paths from point A to point B. Uncomplicated, so no number sliding, rectangular pathways can be projected onto Pascal's triangle as shown. Now we'll move on to part B. We can use Pascal's triangle to find the number of pathways from point A to point B. Begin by writing ones along the edges. Now add adjacent numbers in the first square. Slide the sixes along the edges of the second square. Now add adjacent numbers in the second square. There are 120 unique paths from point A to point B. Now we'll move on to part C. We can use Pascal's triangle to find the number of pathways from point A to point B. Begin by writing ones along the edges. Now add adjacent numbers. We are now stuck because we can't add adjacent numbers to get the circled positions. We can continue by sliding the 10 and 5 into these positions. Now continue adding adjacent numbers. There are 66 unique paths from point A to point B. Now we'll move on to part D. We can use Pascal's triangle to find the number of pathways from point A to point B. Begin by writing ones along the edges. Now add adjacent numbers. We are now stuck because we can't add adjacent numbers to get the circled position. We can continue by sliding the 3 into this position. Now add adjacent numbers. We are stuck again because we can't add adjacent numbers to get the circled positions. We can continue by sliding the 5 and 7 into these positions. Now continue adding adjacent numbers.
There are 54 unique paths from point A to point B.